So, hey guys, Chauzo here, and today I was thinking of talking about the new We Tree Sorrow on JP. And yeah, first shout out to Matt for compiling everything, and also shout out to Koala san on Reddit for translating, and also Sakanajin on the subreddit Discord. Yeah, let's look at this Sorrow. He's a Dex slasher driven. So yeah, basically same color and classes as most Sorrow units. So let's see what makes him stand out. If we look at his captain first, 4.5 times attack for Dex characters, 4 times attack to everyone, everyone else, 1.5 times HP, he reduces 10 turns of special bind for everyone, and when you accumulate 20,000 or more damage throughout the run, Dex carriage get a 5 times attack, and at the start of every stage you do a 20% HP cut. And this is basically the same as like we want Kaido when he enters a new stage. And uh, also like we want Fuji, but Fuji only does it at the end of every turn. Like this is a preemptive. And it's actually great that it is a preemptive because I I don't know if everybody are aware of this, but like in Kisuna, usually you can't HP cut nowadays. Like obviously because of the over prevalent normal attacks only, but also because the bosses always heal up to full if you HP cut them. But we want Kaido can still HP cut in Kisuna, and this is super useful in team kizunas once you approach the very high levels like level 250 and beyond like we want kaido does a huge chunk of damage and this sorrow is great in that case because obviously you don't want to use kaido in kizuna optimally because he doesn't have the highest captain multiplier or anything and he doesn't do anything else except the dish pickup, but Sora both have a, has a good multiplier. But he also helps out with damage in other ways. So for Kizuna, if you can get that 20k damage, he will be a very solid option. And even if you can't get that, obviously, 5 times attack Dex Captain, if you get that damage again, otherwise 4.5 times. But yeah, we can talk a bit more about how you can pair Sorrow up in good ways, but yeah, potential in Kizuna for sure. And obviously, it also has one of the best extra captain abilities you can get in the special bind reduction. Like, all of you know about Shang's crew and how much he is used, like... New units like Shang's crew aren't optimal captains anymore, but despite that, Shang's crew is used a lot. Even by someone who like me who don't like to use like optimal units, but Shang's crew is just such a brick and mortar unit. You can always fit him in, last of everyone, and like solve the puzzle of the team. Sora won't be quite like that, but. Special bind, there's not many that inherently resist it as a captain, so that will only give him my use, like many are saying, like why use any other dex unit other than we run Kaido in regular play, but that is one thing that really can make Sora stand out. And he also has a lot of, a lot of other stuff in his special, we can look at it. I like it a lot actually. So his special, minus 2 CD for the whole crew. And for one turn, his own normal attacks will ignore any defensive abilities. He also does 100 times his own attack in typeless damage to all enemies. And he will also ignore any defensive capabilities, including defense. Note that. And for one turn, he boosts the orbs of Dex characters either by 2.5 times if he hasn't accumulated up to two uh, 20k damage. And past 20k damage is a 2.75 times ore boost. 
So yeah, let's talk a bit about this accumulated damage. First, a downside. First, obviously, the obvious downside that you have to take damage. Like, it doesn't have to be hard to take damage. Sometimes it is, but you might have to stall a bit to take damage. Who knows? Just something to note. And also that the difference between taking the damage and not taking it won't matter much in a lot of content. Like the multi Captain Multiplier difference will often not matter that much. And the orb difference is pretty small. And if there is if there's normal attacks only in several stages, then the HP cat cut in Captain Ability doesn't matter either. So that's both a pro and a con that it doesn't rely on that that much. But like if you get it, you really want to benefit from it. And maybe he doesn't benefit that much from reaching this condition. But yeah, that's just my take on that. Otherwise, there's so much good in this cap in this special. The only bad thing, in my opinion, is that he's just a Dex or booster. He basically has the uh, kid syndrome, like the legend kid. Like he is a rainbow captain, and but his special makes it that you want to mainly use him with Dex units anyway, which is a which is, which is a shame. I'd prefer personally if they cut down the damage a bit on the ore boost and made it rainbow instead. Or maybe one or two more colors or some more classes, like something like that. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, he has some very cool stuff. Like first seed reduction. I love it. Works very good with his limit break ability too. We'll get to that. And also... Ignoring any defensive effect with his normal attacks. So you can use his special like you get the added benefit of the Luffyan Law Swap. It's the same thing. You just penetrate. And anyone who has used Luffyan Law know how good that swap is. And yeah, Sorkan doesn't have the same access to it. But he has access. And sometimes that can make a big difference in your team building. So it's just a very nice bonus that when you use this special, you can go through anything. Except defense in that case. But the special, the one more times damage he does, does go through barriers and defense and everything. So that's super good. It's the best special you can get damage wise. So yeah, special wise, very good. Probably the best part of this unit. And I feel like we have to skip to the limit break abilities because it has synergy with his first ability, the special charge. This is very rare for legends to have, but at the start of the quest, he gets minus five CD. And as you can see there, he has 13 CD. So he goes down to eight. I haven't checked if he has a limit break expansion that brings it down one further. It will be seven in that case. And add sockets for 5, maybe a ship for 4, even 3 with Gurm or something. So yeah, as you see, there's a lot of speedrun potential. Ironically, if this was any unit other than Sorrow, or maybe a Chopper, because you have to run Chopper to farm CC or something, I'd been super hyped for this guy. But as it stands, we had Treasure Map Sorrow. Who is like the king of speedrunning. Like you don't make a speedrun team without Treasure Map Sorrow. Which means you can't run him. And that's just such a shame. Like let's say this was Killer instead. I'd been so pumped by him. It's, it would have been easy to go in for me personally. But now because it's a Sorrow. I can't do that the same way. But yeah, that's super solid. And other than that, his limit break abilities, he has the Enrage, plus 300, that's solid. It, it obviously has synergy with his captain ability and special that he wants to take damage. So he gets that that'll be a benefit. And he has the best slot bind. Complete removes it. Very good. So yeah, can't complain about the limit break abilities. Solid Sailors 2. Everyone gets Dex as beneficial, and he's completely uh, immune to Special Rewind. So, yeah, that's kind of funny, actually, since Captain... 
makes him resist special bind. But as a say as a sailor he is resisting special rewind. But yeah, it makes sense obviously since his special reduces CD, so it's the perfect sailor for a special like that. And finally let's look at the super type condition and it's the straw hats as well as Hiri and Otoko. And he does 75% his own attack and typeless damage to all enemies. And for one turn boosts color affinity for normal attacks. Yeah, he just boosts color affinity for decks by two times. So yeah, or boost for decks in special, color affinity for decks in super type. Now we just need someone to change orbs and we need someone to give an attack boost to decks mainly. Do we have a legend or unit that can do this? Like maybe even give orbs that can't be changed, like something like a super bomb. Yeah, I'm thinking of kid of course, and I've said this uh in Discord and stuff that the Legend Kid and Legend Sora have like perfect synergy, like Sora will trigger kids super type. And then yeah, you just have to fit something for Sora. And yeah, it's not this as strong as say Roger and Odin combo, but yeah, they just have very good synergy. Of course, it we will have interrupts for stuff. And often you will find something that will interrupt attack or orb. But yeah, it will be fun to play around with at least. That's a good combination. And yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is the best sword unit, at least to use as a captain. Like there's not much that excites me to use him as a captain. He's just a solid option. Brings a lot to the table for decks, mainly the special bind resist. And he also makes the team fast, which is important because you Dex has Kaido, who is very fast. Why run something slow? With Sora, you can be very fast, even without Kaido. And you can do more damage when the important stages comes. I feel like the accumulate damage mechanic could have been improved I don't feel like you get as much benefit from it as you should and I also want to note that it counts the accumulator so if you get to remove all buffs thing on final stage all of that is removed you're back to 4.5 times captain 2.5 times orb in special so yeah that's also iffy but yeah, basically, if I ever get this Sora, when I get him eventually, I will be happy. But I don't see myself going for him in the end. It's up to Bandai. Make a good debut Sugo for him. Like on Global Now, I wasn't planning on going for V4 Law. But he got like the highest debut rate ever. 0.625%. It also had Smoker in didn't have, so yeah. Just make a good debut, and I might do a few multis, who knows? But, yeah. I've read some stupid texts about Sora anyway, that he got shafted again and such, and that's just silly, solid legend, very good. Just probably not worth pulling for, directly. And Sugu, he's on in the future, and you don't have him, will be more valuable because he's on it. So that's always a plus in my book, but yeah. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.